The Deputy Premier has defended using his power to remove all references to predicted sea level rises from the Moreton Bay Council's regional plan. Jeff Seney denies it has anything to do with climate change. The Mayor is angry that his council was singled out. Here's state political reporter Melinda Howells. In the Bayside suburbs north of Brisbane, there's a political storm over planning laws. The Moreton Bay Regional Council's new scheme was to factor in an 80 centimetre sea level rise by the year 2100. Two weeks ago, Deputy Premier Jeff Seney directed the council to amend its draft planning scheme to remove any assumption about a theoretical projected sea rise due to climate change. It was clear from legal advice from both the local government association and eminent lawyers that we were leaving the council exposed and future councils to huge liabilities into the future. Other councils, including Townsville, Whitsunday and Brisbane, have included sea rises in their planning schemes. It is strange that one council has been singled out and uh, we really do need to get some answers as to why that has happened and what the impact will be on other councils. Are they all going to be affected in the same way? If not, why not? Well, he hasn't just singled out, he's taken to us with a baseball bat. There's a big difference between planning for the future planning future urban areas where you can take into account a whole range of different things and using a planning scheme to retrospectively take away people's development rights. Mr Sini wasn't available for an interview on camera but says he's willing to issue directions to other councils if necessary. He says existing property rights must be protected and he's addressing concerns raised by residents and local MP Lisa France. This of course is a government that is ideologically committed to the uh, to the perspective that climate change is not real and it's not happening. It's not an issue for zealots to engage in the sort of emotive language that doesn't produce any sort of a reasonable outcome. It's not a question of whether you're a believer or a denier. Councils say their questions about Mr Sini's directive remain unanswered. Melinda Howells, ABC News.